Bodo Hell, a name synonymous with Austrian literature, a beacon of creativity and intellect, a master of words, known for his wit, his insight, and his love for the mountains. His prose captured the essence of the Austrian landscape, intertwining nature and human experience. But now, the mountains hold a chilling silence where Bodo's voice should be. The serene beauty of the Dachstein Range now feels like a somber reminder of his absence. The acclaimed author, 81 years young, vanished in the vast Dachstein Range. His disappearance is as mysterious as the stories he penned, leaving behind a void in the literary world. His disappearance sent shockwaves through Austria and beyond. The news spread quickly with headlines capturing the nation's collective anxiety and sorrow. How could a man so familiar with the terrain simply vanish? Bodo was an experienced hiker, someone who knew every trail and path in the Dachstein Mountains. Had the mountains he loved so much turned against him? The very peaks that inspired his work now seemed to hide secrets, shrouded in mystery and clouds. The mystery gripped the nation, People from all walks of life were drawn into the enigma, each hoping for a resolution, each fearing the worst. Bodo Hell wasn't just an author, he was a cultural icon. His works were celebrated, his readings attended by many, and his presence felt like a bridge to Austria's rich literary past. His disappearance felt personal to many. Vigils were held, candles lit, and communities came together, united in their grief and hope for his return. The search for Bodo Hell continues as does the hope that this literary giant will once again be found among the mountains he so dearly loved. Friday. The air was crisp with the promise of autumn. The leaves had begun their transformation, painting the landscape in hues of gold, amber, and crimson. The early morning sun cast a gentle glow over the mountains, creating a serene and almost magical atmosphere. Hikers, their boots crunching on the gravel paths, exchanged smiles as they made their way up the slopes of the Dachstein. The camaraderie among them was palpable, a shared sense of adventure and appreciation for the beauty surrounding them. Conversations flowed easily, punctuated by laughter and the occasional exclamation of wonder at the breathtaking views. Among them, Bodo Hell, a spry figure despite his years. His energy and enthusiasm were infectious, inspiring those around him. Bodo was a well-known figure in these parts, a seasoned hiker with countless stories of his adventures in the mountains. He was last seen around 11 a.m. near the Grafenbergalm. The rustic mountain hut stood as a familiar landmark, a place where hikers often paused to rest and take in the stunning vistas. Bodo had always been fond of this spot, often stopping here to reflect and recharge. He'd stop to chat with fellow hikers, his voice as lively as ever. His stories and anecdotes were a source of entertainment and inspiration, drawing smiles and laughter from those who listened. Bodo had a way of making everyone feel like an old friend, his warmth and kindness leaving a lasting impression. He mentioned checking on his cattle, a common activity for him. Bodo was not just a hiker but also a farmer, deeply connected to the land and the animals he cared for. His dedication to his cattle was well known, and he often spoke of them with great affection and pride. Little did anyone know these would be his last known words. As he spoke, there was no hint of the mystery that was about to unfold. His demeanor was as cheerful and engaging as ever, giving no indication of the events that would soon transpire. The hikers continued their ascent, unaware that they were witnessing the last moments of normalcy before a mystery unfolded. The trail ahead seemed as inviting as ever, promising more stunning views and shared experiences. Yet in the midst of this idyllic setting, an unexpected turn of events was about to change everything. The serene beauty of the mountains stood in stark contrast to the uncertainty that lay ahead, a reminder of the fragile balance between the known and the unknown. Days turned into nights, the sun dipped behind the peaks, casting long, ominous shadows over the search for Bodo Hell. Worry gnawed at the edges of hope. Where was he? The silence from the mountains was deafening. Search parties scoured the area where he was last seen. The terrain, unforgiving at the best of times, became their adversary. Every rustle of leaves, every cry of a bird brought a surge of false hope. The mountain held its secrets close, leaving the searchers to grapple with the unknown. Hope. It's a fragile thing, especially when pitted against the relentless march of time. As days turned into a week, the urgency to find Bodo intensified. The weather, as if mirroring the growing despair, turned treacherous. Fog rolled in, shrouding the mountains in an eerie blanket, 
Rain lashed down, turning trails into treacherous streams. Still, they searched. Volunteers joined the professional rescue teams. They battled fatigue, the biting cold, and the growing fear that time was slipping away. Section 5 Nature's Unforgiving Grip The Dockstein Range is a place of breathtaking beauty, but its beauty can be deceptive. Beneath the stunning vistas lies an unforgiving wilderness. The terrain is a labyrinth of steep slopes, jagged cliffs, and dense forests. The weather can change in the blink of an eye, from bright sunshine to blinding snowstorms. Even experienced mountaineers treat these mountains with respect. For Bodo, despite his familiarity with the area, the risks were all too real. Section 6. Whispers on the Wind As the official search continued, so did the whispers. Theories swirled like the mountain mist. Had Bodo Hell gotten lost? Had he suffered a medical emergency? Some clung to the hope that he had found shelter in a remote shepherd's hut, waiting to be found. Others feared the worst, imagining him injured and vulnerable to the elements. The lack of any concrete clues only fueled the speculation. Every unanswered question deepened the mystery. Section 7, A Community Unites in Hope In the face of uncertainty, the human spirit often shines brightest. The disappearance of Bodo Hell brought out the best in people. Villagers, their faces etched with worry, gathered in the local guest house, sharing stories of Bodo, their words a mix of fond remembrance and desperate hope. Strangers offered support to the search teams, providing food, blankets, and words of encouragement. The community, united in their concern, refused to give up hope. Section 8. The Literary World Holds Its Breath The news of Bodo Hell's disappearance reverberated far beyond the mountain villages. The literary world, from Vienna to Berlin to New York, held its breath. Authors, critics, and readers alike felt a sense of profound loss. Bodo's voice, so unique, so insightful, had been silenced. Would they ever have the chance to hear it again? Tributes poured in, celebrating his life, his work, and his enduring spirit. The literary world mourned, hoping against hope for his safe return. Section 9. Every Stone Unturned Days turned into weeks. The initial urgency of the search may have subsided, but the determination to find Bodo Hell remained unwavering. The official search teams, though scaled back, continued to comb the mountains. They analyzed maps, interviewed locals, and explored every nook and cranny of the terrain. The police, while not ruling out any possibilities, focused their investigation on retracing Bodo's last known steps and analyzing any potential clues that might have been overlooked. Section 10. The Mystery Endures As summer faded into autumn, the mystery of Bodo Hell's disappearance lingered like the first snowflakes on the mountain peaks. The mountains, once a source of inspiration for his words, now held the key to his whereabouts. Despite the tireless efforts, the lack of answers was agonizing. Had the mountains claimed him, keeping their secrets hidden beneath a blanket of snow? The unanswered questions haunted everyone. The search for Bodo Hell had become a search for closure, for understanding, for a glimmer of hope in the face of despair. Section 11. A legacy remembered, a return awaited. Though the mountains remain silent, Bodo Hell's legacy lives on. His presence is felt in every corner of the literary world, a testament to his enduring influence. The mountains, with their timeless beauty and silent strength, seem to echo his words, his thoughts, and his dreams. His words continue to inspire, reaching out to touch the hearts and minds of readers across generations. Each sentence, each phrase, crafted with care, carries the weight of his experiences and the depth of his understanding. His stories continue to resonate, weaving a tapestry of emotions and thoughts that connect us all. They remind us of the beauty of the human spirit, the power of resilience, and the importance of hope. In the hearts of those who knew him, who read his work, his spirit endures. His friends, family, and readers keep his memory alive, sharing his stories and celebrating his life. They gather in book clubs, libraries, and homes, finding solace and inspiration in his words. The hope of finding him may have dimmed, but it has not been extinguished. The search for Bodo Hell continues, driven by the love and determination of those who refuse to give up. Each day brings new hope, new possibilities, and the unwavering belief that he will be found. But it has not been extinguished. The flickering candlelight symbolizes the enduring hope and the collective will to uncover the truth. 
Lanterns floating into the sky represent the prayers and wishes of countless individuals who hold Bodo Hell close to their hearts. The mountains may hold their secrets close, shrouded in mist and mystery. They stand as silent witnesses to the events that unfolded, guarding their secrets with an unyielding resolve, yet, the search for answers, for understanding will continue. The search for answers, for understanding will continue. Search and rescue teams, hikers and volunteers tirelessly comb the rugged terrain, driven by the hope of finding clues that could lead to Bodo Hell. Each footprint, each trail is a step closer to unraveling the mystery. Bodo Hell's disappearance is a stark reminder of the power and unpredictability of nature. The mountains, with their awe-inspiring beauty, also hold the potential for danger and uncertainty. Storms, avalanches, and fierce rivers serve as a reminder of the challenges faced by those who venture into the wild. It is a tale of a life intertwined with the mountains, a life dedicated to exploring their beauty and mysteries. Bodo Hell's connection to the mountains was profound, and his adventures in the wilderness were a testament to his love for nature, a life that has left an indelible mark on Austrian culture. His contributions to literature and his deep appreciation for the natural world have enriched the cultural tapestry of Austria. His legacy is celebrated in traditional villages, cultural events, and historical landmarks, and it is a story that, for now, remains unfinished. The blank pages in his journal and the unfinished manuscript are a poignant reminder of the chapters yet to be written. The mountain